Hi guys, Andy here. You may have seen a video a week or two back with me showing you through some of the specs of the 4th gen Moto G that was on its way. Now, the Moto G has a bit of a soft spot in my heart because the original Moto G was just such an amazing device at such an amazing price. You could pick them up for just under £100 if you were lucky on certain offers or deals or trading your Tesco club cards or whatever you might do. Um, and it really was an amazing phone for that sort of money. So. I then bought next year the second gen model and I've got to be honest I was a little bit disappointed it wasn't quite as good the camera was a little bit better but I felt it wasn't quite as smooth the screen wasn't as amazing I didn't think the battery wasn't as good uh, the speaker wasn't as good uh, so yeah it was just the, the second gen was a bit of a disappointment then well, about a year ago we had the third gen and that kind of was the Moto G back on form in my opinion so I was quite interested when the announcement of the the fourth gen Moto G came out. Now, one of the first you might notice, the Lenovo. So obviously, Lenovo now calling the shots in Motorola. There's not a lot to see on the box. Um, this is the two gig, sixteen gig version. So basically, this is the budget version, um, because to me, that's what the Moto G is about: is budget. So actually, I went for the cheapest you could get, which is 100, 170 quid. And here she is. So I got to pick the colours. I went with quite a Quite a bright brush. Oh, it's just one of them. One of them surfaces. Ooh, gives me well, it's quite rough, basically. I don't know if you can see that. Um, first impressions. It feels feels good. Feels quite sturdy. Quite big compared to previous Moto Gs. Um, we we'll see here explaining how to put the SIM in. So I'm guessing that means it's got a micro SIM slot. Yeah. Let's have a look what else is in the box. Charging cable, micro USB, not uh, USB C Type C. Interesting. We got a README, which just gives us the usual. So the back cover just we pull off. It tells us there about the SIM card. Got a memory card slot. Um, just gives us some information on discovering the Moto apps, photos. Blah, 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 blah. We're not particularly interested in that. Let's put it that way. The charger, I've got plenty of them knocking about. I don't know, I don't, I can't remember if it's a fast charger or not. Can I look it up really quick? Doesn't mention it on uh, GSM Arena. So let's just put the, let's put the box slightly out of the way. Right, so I'm gonna peel off, or well, I think I'm gonna peel off, where is it? There we go. The screen protector. So on the right hand side is the power button and the volume rocker. On the back, the 13 megapixel camera with flash, the Motorola symbol. Underneath the micro USB port, then obviously that's the place that we're gonna, well, let's go ahead and do it now. We're gonna pull the back cover off. Oh, okay, so there's two SIM card slots, sorry, righto and a micro SD slot, that's quite, uh, could be useful to some people. Speaker, is that, do we think that? I think that's the speaker up there. Or it could be that, there's no real, oh is it actually, it's not a lie, maybe it comes out of, maybe it comes out of one of the, I do quite often come into unboxings not doing a great deal about the devices. I, I almost prefer it that way to kind of just explore my way around initially. I know some people it really annoys them, I'm sorry. Um, obviously the headphone jack at the top right in the middle the front facing camera is a 5 megapixel camera uh, it does 1080p video out of the 13 megapixel that I mentioned before it's got an f2.0 lens on it which isn't that's not bad I mean it's not as great as some of I think some of them do f1.7 that just means that it um, it can allow more light in you're gonna get better low light detail uh, photos let's hold the power down Moto, powered by Android. So let's see, run through what it's booting up, some of the other specifications of the device. Um, so this is 9.8 millimeters thick. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't feel crazy thin, but it definitely doesn't feel big and bulky. Well, not in the thickness, Lenovo. Um, 155 grams, so it's fairly, fairly heavy, um, but not, I'm not, again, not crazy. It doesn't feel, actually feels very light. It feels lighter than 155 grams, but anyway. IPS LCD capacitive touchscreen, five and a half inches, obviously. Um, it's a 71.2% screen to body ratio. 
What the chuff? What language are we in here then? There we go. Well, that felt very smooth initially. Let me just finish through the specs while uh, before I then stop and log into things. Um, so it's a 1080p screen, 401 pixels per inch. That's 1920 by 1080, which is, I think, that's the first time a Moto G has done that. I could be wrong. I can't remember the specs for the others, if I'm honest. So someone else will have to double check. Um, Corning Gorilla Glass 3 on it. It should be running Android 6.0.1. Obviously, that's Marshmallow. The chipset is a Qualcomm... MSM 8952 Snapdragon 617. The CPU, a quad core 1.5 gigahertz Cortex A53 and quad core 1.2 gigahertz Cortex A53, with the GPU being the Adreno 405. Um, so it's got two gig of RAM, 16 gig of storage. This particular one, I've mentioned the two cameras. I think that's most of the hardware. The battery, sorry, is a 3000 milliamp hour non removable Li Ion battery. So at this point, I'm going to log into various bits and pieces, and uh, I will come back to you for a sort of a first look. Right, so you join me back. A, uh, I'm going to switch to one of the stock wallpapers rather than the wallpaper I'd been using on my Note 5. So I'd selected to restore apps from my Note 5, the ones I was using, and it was going through, and then I was like, oh my god, this could take ages, so I've stopped that. I'm not sure I'd go in and manually reinstall them. That's fine. Anyway, so let's have a look, first of all. So clearly, it's very stock Android, as I'm sure you know, it won't surprise you if you know the Moto G. Um, you'll know that's how they roll. There we go, Android version 6.0.1. Security patch level 1st of May. That's pretty good. That's only... Well, a month ago, I suppose, but and for anyone that's bothered, there's the build number, kernel version, and all that malarkey. Um, so it's much as you would expect it to look. It's very stock through the settings. Um, I'm assuming it's, because it's still showing me the old Play Store. Oh, no, hang on. No, yeah, we're still in the old Play Store. Everything looks very big. All the icons look very big. So for a Moto G, it does feel like it's a little bit too big. I thought, I don't know, maybe they're changing things. The Moto X was normally this kind of size. I'd have, I'd have actually quite liked if they'd come out with a 5-inch. There are, I believe, a lot of people out there saying, what's the best 5-inch phone at the moment? Uh, not necessarily that the Moto G is going to be that kind of category of best device, but people are after a decent 5-inch phone. Um, let's go ahead and check the camera. I've brought in, you might have noticed... Change focus and exposure. Okay, so this is much like it has been in the past, I believe. Get more or less light. Quick capture, twist. Oh, I did like this here. Yeah, twist your wrist twice quickly to open the camera. The same motion switches to the net, to the front camera. Barcode scanning, fine. So let's just try that. That's pretty quick, I would say. There are my subjects, maybe you can see them. You want to be able to see me pressing the That's quite fast. Um, hello. Yeah, that's pretty quick. And it's nice and you know sensitive enough to to switch through the uh, from one camera to the next. Um, so what else? So let's, let's go ahead and run. Go ahead and run Geekbench. CPU speed a zero. Um, are you sure? Anyway, I'm fairly sure it's not. Let's go ahead and run it. Now, as I do when I do my head-to-head -head comparisons, I won't make you watch all of this, if I remember to come back in and edit the video. We'll skip through this bit. So, the Moto G 3rd Gen scored around 1570 for me. How will this compare? I th hopefully a, a bit higher. Is it going to be in the 2000s? Whoa, 3,098. That's pretty impressive. That's, uh, let me see what that compares to. The uh, Xiaomi Redmi 3 Pro beats the Nexus 5. Um, it's not up there with the big boys like the Nexus 6P or the Redmi Notes. Obviously the Galaxy Notes either. But uh, that's, that's, that's a pretty impressive score, I would say. Beats the, uh, the Smart Ultra 6, for example. 
Smash is, well, it's about the same as the Nexus 6, I suppose, actually. So, pretty good score. Let's see what else we can have a look at. We want YouTube, really. It's dry. I think I think the screen looks pretty clear. The colours look really good. Let's watch a bit of an Overwatch. Anyone playing Overwatch? I do like oh. the old-fashioned. Go away, David. Let's check what uh, quality we're on. 1080p, hey guys, good. My name is Ryan. And my name is Bosco, and welcome to Overwatch Central. So yesterday we did a mailbox episode and briefly spoke about the upcoming patch later this month. We were met with a lot of surprised comments such as, what Dune patch, and where can we find information on this, so on and so So it does sound like the speaker, it either was that point that I showed you on the back, or it's coming from the front. You probably can't hear so well. Mind you, I've got a different microphone now, so you maybe can hear a bit better what the, the phone... So we thought we'd clear this up as well as add our newest bit of information. Jeff Goodman is a lead designer for Overwatch and Blizzard, and yesterday he replied... That, that speaker, it sounds, sounds pretty good. I mean, not amazing, but certainly good enough for watching YouTube videos. The image itself... Let's try and try, see if we got a different... But it looks, it looks to me to have good colours, good clarity. Video's nice and smooth. That's really nice, I think. I don't know how well it, uh, how good it looks on, how good it looks on uh, the video being videoed. Let's just try, let's try. Don't coast in neutral. I watched this guy for one video. I forget what it was, and I get suggested loads of them now. It's not, that's not a great. I don't think that's a great video to. See what. Uh, See what Conan's saying. Well, they're, so they're playing Overwatch. But I think I think that looks really good. Let's just try the volume once more again. Oh come on! I just laser beam. <laughs> okay, that happened very quickly. <laughs> yeah, I think that's that's quite impressive. Sort of visually, as in the screen. So we got a. Decent if it'll focus. I think that looks that looks good. And the speaker. Um generally it seems I mean I know when I was installing we've got R type installed. Let's just try quickly. Oh maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. Um so yeah, uh, yeah, fine. I think all around generally I'm I'm quite impressed by it. It feels good apart from the I mean it, it is Whoa. Okay. It feels that the rough back <laughs> just kind of annoys me a little bit because I get oh my fingers I can feel it each time I run my finger over. But I guess I can put a case. I can probably change the back. There were about eight different colours you could select from the back. There was a different colour for the bezel around the uh, camera. I went sort of I get you might say fairly boring with the silver. Um, and I think you could have white or black front. Now. I'm not good at games. I'm not good at R type, so don't criticise me, please, for being rubbish. But it's actually that's that's pretty loud. Oh, I don't even remember how you. There we go. I mean, R type is not. R type is not the best example. How do I? Oh, yeah, it doesn't particularly, I don't think, stress the uh, stress the GPU in any way, and it's usually around now that one that I'll be killed anyway. Um, so yeah, I would say all around, if, if, if the device feels pretty good, um, it seems to perform pretty good. I mean, three thousands are good. A good Geekbench score. Uh, I th oh, I'm not particularly. Oh, I shouldn't really be paying much attention on. Um, so yeah, it looks nice, performs well. Screen looks good. Speaker's good. I think the the battery. Uh, can you hear me still? The battery will be an interesting one. I'm, I think I've seen comments. I'm actually lasting a lot longer than I normally do playing this game. If I actually come, I don't think I've ever completed this level when I've been trying. If I actually do it when I'm not really paying attention. 
and talking to you guys. That would be kind of funny in some ways. Um, yeah, I think I'd seen comments of some people saying that the, the that the battery was a bit disappointing. So that'll be interesting to see. I mean, 3,000 milliamp hours, but I suppose it is a it is a 1080p screen. Um, honestly, this is better than I've ever done, like ever. Oh, lag. What happened? Did I die? I did die. Right, let's not. I'm not going to. That is honestly. The, how do I? There we go. That's what I need. No, what are you doing? That's, uh, there we go. We're back out. Um, right. Sorry, that was not. I'm not. I'm got a clue what I'm doing now. Um, so all in all, screen's good, speaks good, feels good, um, looks good. I think there's many options for the colours. You can have it. In, uh, I was going to say embezzled. What's the word? Have your name inscribed. That's the word I'm after. You can have it inscribed. Oh, it's got the whole, I forget how that works. It's got the whole kind of thingy, that view when it's sort of, you get a notification or when you pick the phone up, look, there we go. That's what it is. Pick the phone up and it'll tell you if you've got any notifications. Um, yeah, so there we go. Obviously very early days being the, uh, the first time I've touched it. Obviously subscribe for future videos, tests, comparisons, samples, demos, and then eventually the review. But this is the Moto G, the fourth generation, first influenced by Lenovo. Uh, my name's Andy. I'll catch you all again soon.